Hi, this is Dr. Nathan Hans from Optimal Wellness. And today I want to talk about mid-back pain or that pain you generally feel between your shoulder blades. And when we talk about mid-back pain, uh, the interesting thing or the unique thing about the thoracic spine or the middle part of your back is it's connected to all these ribs. So it can also cause problems with these ribs through this area too, which people a lot of times will say, uh, it feels like a knife being stuck in their back. They get a very sharp pain and it's difficult to take a deep breath in. But there's three main causes to mid-back pain. Those are overuse or repetitive injuries, um, poor posture, and also trauma or injuries such as car accidents, slips, falls, and those type of things. So when we have those injuries, they can cause misalignments to our spine or to these bones in the middle part of our back, which can also, like we mentioned, uh, cause misalignments to those ribs as well. Um, and it can cause a lot of pain and tension and tightness to the middle part of your back. So there's three tips today. I'd like to share uh, with helping with the mid-back pain. The first one is just practicing good posture. So when we sit in this flex forward position, then that causes a lot of stress and strain in the middle part of our back, which can lead to mid-back problems. Um, the second thing we like to do with uh, the middle part of our back to help mobilize it is do an exercise called a cat camel. So I'm gonna have my patient get up on all fours here. So with this exercise, what you're going to focus on is with your thoracic spine or this mid-back, you're going to push it up towards the ceiling as high as you can go, and then you're going to let it sink down towards the floor as low as it can go. And you're going to repeat this, doing it three sets of 10, and you want to do this two or three times a day. And then the second thing to help mobilize the spine is something called a foam roller. So this is, this is something we're going to position in the middle part of her back. And with this, she's going to have her legs bent and she's going to use her legs to push back and forth on the foam roller. Um, and she wants to keep it in the middle part of her back. So she doesn't want to go into her neck or into the lower back where her back starts to curve there. And so you can do this two or three minutes, two or three times a day as well. And then mid back pain is something we commonly treat in our office and we get great results doing um, three things. So the first thing we do is an adjustment. So I'm going to have a patient lay down. And we're going to adjust her. So with an adjustment, the purpose of the adjustment is to help get these bones back in alignment or to start moving properly or having proper motion back in those bones. So we're going to do an adjustment here. Good. And then the second thing we do is uh, we have our patients work with our trainer doing posture rehab. With posture rehab, he's going to work on those tight muscles, lengthening those tight muscles, so that way uh, those muscles that are pulling your shoulders forward and your head forward, we can start stretching those and getting you back into the right position, and then strengthening those weak muscles so that way we can help support having good posture. And then the third thing we do is something called intersegmental traction. So we're going to go back to our therapy room so I can show you that. All right, and then the third thing, like I said, is the intersegmental traction. So this is this table here that Rachel's laying on. So as those rollers in the table roll up and down your back, it helps to massage the back, but it also helps to create motion in your back to help you hold that adjustment longer. And what it's doing is it's helping to put extension in your back because we sit forward or we sit in this flex forward position all day long. So I hope these tips help with your mid back pain. Um, if you do have additional questions, feel free to reach out to us at 425-1911 or you can visit our website at mywitch.pyro.com. And then if you know anyone that's dealing with mid-back pain, make sure you like or share this below so that they can see these tips as well. Well, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys next week.